Okay, so here's the standard bit of paperwork that you'd get with your Pixie from China. Okay, uh, you see over here, I've been having to play about and try some different values in the capacitance uh, based on some calculations I was doing. But ultimately, for 30 meters, we've ended up with um, the changing the L2 inductor over to uh, 0.79 microhenries, or as close as we could get to that with the bits that we had. And um, we've changed the capacitance here and here over to uh, 315 is the optimum value. Um, I've gone with 320. Um, I've got a 220 picofarad and a 100 picofarad um, capacitor in parallel to make sure that we had the right things here. And um, so far it's working really well. Uh, I haven't made any contacts with it yet on the indoor antenna because we've just got a wire going around the shed here while we're doing the tests. Um, but we'll be taking it in and trying it on the vertical antenna a little bit later on this evening. I'll maybe do some more video of that as well. So the other modification that I've made to uh, to these radios is to take out the um, 7023 megahertz crystal. On the 40 meters one, um, I've added some switching and we've got 7023 and 7030 and uh, also a crystal. Uh, ceramic resonator um, in there so we can switch between any of them um, but in the particular one that I'm showing you at the moment um, which is the 30 meter version um, I've got two um, crystals in parallel for 10.106 megahertz and then I've also got two variable capacitors uh, in uh, parallel as well just to add a little bit more capacitance to swing the frequency off um, which you might have seen in the video clip there with me adjusting both of the uh, pots at the same time. Really useful just to give that little bit extra frequency coverage. Um, it adds about another two and a half kilohertz having the uh, the second one in here and both of the um, variable caps are about 220 picofarads um, as they're upper limit to give you some kind of idea and all we've done is take uh, this side and replace directly from the points where the crystal is. So that's what we've done with um, adding the VXO to the radio as well. So combination of changing the output pie filter and the crystal has given us a fantastic result on 30 meters.